Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Clem Hawks, everybody. I'm Yak, ready to take you through this Minnesota Twins game review. A 3-1 final for the Baltimore Orioles over our Minnesota Twins. And a victory that seemed, well, likely for the Twins headed into this one, right? The sweep was right there, ripe for the taken. And, and the Twins got good starting pitching all the way into the fifth inning. The Baltimore Orioles got it a little bit longer and that was the difference in this ball game. Uh, that's really all there is to say about it. It's Wells who outduels Smeltzer, and that's about it for this one. The Twins, again, as they always do when they have a low-scoring game, just fail to get guys on base and be productive, right? They got a couple guys on late a couple of times and just couldn't really cash them, and that is large in part to just not doing productive things with their at-bats today. We'll break it down right now at 3-1, as I said, final for the Baltimore Orioles, and you see how this one ends up going on the box score as really it was just an ugly go for the Minnesota Twins who struck out nine times in the ball game so a strikeout per inning but just when you didn't need them that's when the strikeouts came Aiken and Krebel the situational holding relievers for the Baltimore Orioles today got the job done they didn't strike anyone out but they've been solid so far for the Orioles and they're a reason why this game ends up 3-1 Right? Yes, indeed, it's Wells, the starter who goes six, gives up three hits and a run, a walk, and a hit, seven strikeouts, and the only run of the ball game. But it's Tate who comes out of the bullpen, gets the save, two strikeouts, and between those two guys, you get nine strikeouts in a span of seven innings, and that really is shuts down the productive time for the Minnesota Twins. And for the Twins, right, this is not by any means the best lineup the Twins can field, but... Arise leading off goes one for four, Correa 0 for three, Polanco 1 for four, Miranda 0 for four, Kepler 0 for four, Gordon 1 for two, um, you got Garlic 1 for two, right? That was the most productive spot in the lineup, the sixth spot today in left field, two for four, and the only spot in the lineup that really produced multiple hits. 0 for four, Gary Sanchez struck out to end the ballgame, Kirilov 0 for two, with a walk and Celestino 0 for 2 with a walk. He did have a run though, the only man to cross home plate today. And realistically too, you look at this, everybody in the lineup struck out at least once, including the pinch hitter Garlic, except for Carlos Correa, who is still a non-factor. Yes, he got aboard with a walk, but 0 for 3 at the dish with every other at bat. That said, Devin Smeltzer today, six hits, Three earned runs against, one walk, and three strikeouts in six innings pitched. And what hurt him? Three home runs against, one in the fifth and two in the sixth. And again, you can maybe argue that Rocco Baldelli, yeah, you know what? He gave up one homer in the fifth. You were having a good game so far. Why wouldn't you trust the pen, get you an extra inning maybe today, and try and go out there and win the ball game? Only down one nothing. Instead, you end up after the top half of the sixth down by three. And that was just too insurmountable for the Twins to come back from. Right, obviously, the Orioles over the past four prior to today had been averaging two runs a ball game. And all of a sudden, they get three and they win a ball game. So go figure. But for the Twins, just another effort where you fail to send more than one or two batters over the minimum to the plate late in the game, right from the fourth on. And it costs the Twins, right? This offense just underachieving by a tick. And that's what's frustrating me today, right? I'll, I'll list this off to you. The Twins essentially, right, go up four up, three down in the first, go up three up, three down in the second, three up, three down in the third, three up, three down in the fourth, four up, three down in the fifth, and then go up, well, I guess you could say here, five up, three down in the sixth. So one of their best innings of the game. Obviously, where the run came from, Polanco singling to right, getting Celestino home. And then they go up in this situation where it goes one, two, three, four, five batters. So, yeah, you know what? That's, again, the bottom of the seventh and inning where you would have loved to have some runs. And then four up, three down in the eighth. And you go into the ninth where you go three up, three down. How many times did you send more than six batters to the plate if you're the uh, Minnesota Twins. Never not once this ball game. You never sent two do-ups to the plate in one inning. That's brutal. And that's what's ticking me off with this Twins team is just underachieving by a tick. Because you talk about everybody 
get known base once or twice extra per week and that is the difference between the twins being a four and three ball team in a week and being a five and two or six and one ball team in a week right you talk about sending up an extra two guys to the plate this game right just this game alone whether it be in the sixth whether it be in the eighth whether it be in the ninth you very well could have gone out there and won this ball game it's just a matter of you are missing a couple of guys achieving career norms achieving what they're capable of within this twins lineup and you're just getting costed for it a 3-1 final against the baltimore Orioles. you get the series win don't mind that hey that's a big get didn't do too much of that last month now we do it here today and that's good but now you really got to focus going into this White Sox series right there. The third team in the division, you'd love to go out there and sweep that one, win five of six to start the month, and suddenly that sounds a lot better than a series win against the Baltimore Orioles standing by itself. Folks, I'm Yak. This is Clem Hawks. I am up on out of here.